you're so mad. What's going on guys, Fizz Blizz, Ken or Lucas here. As always, I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Now, as most of you guys know, we recently moved into our new house in California, and I know that a lot of you guys have been following all of us since New York, but a lot of you guys are new, and you guys don't really know us as bros, us as a family, and over these years that we've lived together and made YouTube videos together, we've grown a lot closer as a family, and we don't, we don't really mess with each other as much as we used to. It didn't always used to be like that. We used to really get on each other's nerves and really mess with each other, especially when it comes to pranks. The Fizz House Prank Wars were legendary. And for some reason, most of them were on me. I got pranked so much. More than anyone else at the FaZe House, I get pranked the most. And I'm cool with it, you know, like I said, over the years that we've kind of grown closer and became more of a family, we kind of stopped messing with each other as much. My best friend Nick, who you guys have seen in a few videos on my channel, he got pranked a few days ago in the most rid just ridiculous way imaginable. FaZe Nikon put snakes in his bed. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bro. If you guys want to see that full video, it's on FaZe Nikon's channel. Nick's biggest fear in the entire world is snakes, and he filled his room with, with fucking snakes. Nick ended up puking because he was just so scared. Where are you going? <laughs> bro, I'm so sorry, Nick. I'm so sorry, bro. I've never even heard of someone puking because they're so scared. I always thought I had it bad with all the pranking at the FaZe house, but after I watched that video, I was thankful that my bros, I can't imagine them ever pulling some shit like that on me. So today I'm gonna show you guys all of the times I got pranked at the FaZe house. Now it's a lot, so I'm gonna try and just show you guys the highlights and keep it short. We're gonna go all the way from the little trolls, like the stink bomb prank and the Oreo and toothpaste prank, to all the really, really kind of big and bad pranks. Anyway, first one I got for you guys is the Oreo and toothpaste prank. This one wasn't really bad, it was still kind of mean because it was super late at night and I was super tired. I thought my bros were just coming to chill with me. All right, Lucas, ready? But nope, they gave me an Oreo filled with toothpaste. So many good things in my life have happened because of Oreos. Mm. <laughs> I gotta think. Oh, dude, come on. That's not cool, dude. There's toothpaste in there. <laughs> Eat it. Eat the whole thing. One bite. Who takes a small bite out of an Oreo? And yeah, I did, I did take a second bite out of it. <laughs> what? No way. No. <laughs> kind of no way you're real, dude. <laughs> Terrible. It's so bad, bro. I got Tico so good to go free. Come on, bros. Then we got the G Fuel milk prank that Rain played on me. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw the G Fuel at him. I'm gonna throw it at him, and then he's not gonna like. He's gonna go, "What the fuck are you doing?" Shout out, Fat Phase Rain. We just filmed finishing a challenge video where I got milk dumped on my head, a whole gallon of milk, and I went up to go take a shower. And while I took a shower, they planned this prank out and pulled it. Yeah, uh, we just did the milk challenge prank. What's up, Blaze? Good night. <laughs> I was just talking about it in my vlog. What's up? On the milk challenge? Yeah. Dude, dude so how fucking, fucking cold. cold is it? Dude, it's so cold. It's so fucking cold, dude. I didn't expect it to be that bro. Whoa! That's got on my fucking mouth, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> bro, you fucking. I was gonna try to lead him on a little bit more, but goddamn. Fuck, I just showered. I literally just got out of the fucking shower. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Didn't he got rusted? <laughs> oh no, dude. Dude, I was gonna try to talk to you for a little bit. Nikon just fucking- Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, Sensei, where the fuck you are, dude? I don't even know what the point of that was. He just pissed me off. I was all gunky and had to go take a shower again. Anyway, a few months after I moved into the FaZe house in New York, I introduced my best bro, Nick, to all the bros, and he started hanging out with all of us, and he really became kind of a, a part of the family. He started coming over to the house a lot, and he started making a lot of videos at the house, and then he even decided to get in on the pranks on FaZe Blaziken. He poured a bunch of dog food in my bed. But how many pounds total? 41 like pounds. 41 pounds of dog food. Gotta be dumped onto Lucas Lucas's bed. Go for it, dude. Big, big, strong man. This is so, this is so funny. Oh my God. Guys, look at this. <laughs> Yo, this is actually so funny, Nick. Oh, you think that's funny, Dad? Putting dog food in my bed. Yeah, that's that's right. Something's going down, dude. Something's fuck. Oh, there's something under my bed. Whoa, what is that? Oh, no. 
Oh no, dude! Can you smell it? How do you not smell it, dude? How are you not smelling <laughs> this? Fucking dog food in my bed. There's fucking dog food in my bed. There's fucking wrecked. By a, what the fuck? By your own friend Nick. Your own, your own, your friend. own friend. Your Nick. childhood friend Nick. Yeah. Honestly, it was pretty funny looking back on it. Most of these pranks are pretty funny. I think my room smelled like dog food for a few days, but I remember Nick helped me clean everything up, and it, was, it wasn't that big of a deal. Throwing it back even further, we got the stink bomb prank that Rain pulled on me. The most pointless prank, in my opinion, because it, it was just awful. My room stinked. The whole phase house stinked. He basically broke up a bunch of, like, little vials filled with just terrible, terrible, stinky stuff, and he put it in my room. Bro. What? Am I gonna walk in my room and my whole entire room is gonna smell like a straight asshole? No! First off, it's on your room. Oh, that smells so fucking bad, dude. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude, that's so bad. Yo, please don't tell me this is semen. No, it's not semen. Oh my god, dude, this is so bad. Liquid ass? Come, Dico, small room. Thanks, <laughs> Bro, it's only fucking fake shit. What is it? This whole house smells like shit. What is it? What is it? <laughs> yo, yo, to top it off? No, 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 that's bad. To top it off? Dude, a dab smells like it's nothing. Like, bro, I was so hard. You smell something? I'm about to close my door. Stop I promise fucking... you, I'm smelling. There's a fucking bro. Dude, this thing's gonna smell like a fucking. Sorry, dude. I... Oh, dude. Oh, that. It burns my nose. Yeah, this isn't the liquid ass. What the fuck is this, dude? Norton, that one wasn't cool. I don't know why you pulled that one. Still pretty funny though. Now that we got the little guys out of the way, I want to show you guys the top three worst pranks that were pulled on me at the Phase House. So in the New York Phase House, we kind of had a little bit of a, a crazy fan problem where a lot of fans were just showing up to the house and some of them were being like really rude and disrespectful. Like one fan who came into our backyard. It was. Kind of crazy. Ugh. I don't know if they're still there. Oh, there, there's no way, dude. Bro, there's literally a fan in our backyard. He literally walked in through that door right there, dude. But so because of all the crazy stuff that happened with fans at the New York Phase House, Rain thought it would be a good idea to pull some some bullshit on me. He got a bunch of fans to break into the Phase House and attack me. <laughs> Hands, bro. This is unbelievable, dude. That's so bad. Some kid tackled me and I like hit myself on the corner of my refrigerator and I was really really butthurt that whole day I was just really upset and I was mad at Norton for doing that. Bro, I'm sorry, but Lucas got fucked over. You need to go apologize to him. He's really mad. Is he actually mad? He's he's got really hurt. Like the, the kid tackled him. Me out of his room to like be alone for a second so I wouldn't go. They just straight up tackled him. I'm sorry, I was just so excited to meet you. Damn, they fucked up your room too. But even though Rain's pulled a lot of pranks on me, in comes Phase Tico and Phase Adapt with the top two. Just terrible pranks, awful pranks, guys. Kicking it off with Phase Tico, who got Phase Cheo to cook me up a bunch of meatballs with ghost peppers in them. I'm about to put one of the world's hottest chilies in your fucking food right now. Ghost peppers are one of the hottest things that you can put in your mouth. I think it's like a million on the Scoville unit, which is like a scale of how hot things are. It's one of the hottest, and it really, really hurts. He's stuffing the meatballs right now. No, bro, he's good. One's enough. Oh. Hope you win, dude. Damn, turkey's spicy. Holy. Oh my god. The turkey? The turkey's fine. The turkey? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> yes! You're <laughs> 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 I actually made a video about that 
prank a few months ago talking about how it was literally the worst moment of my life. Most painful moment I've ever experienced. It was so bad. My whole throat, my fingers, my lips, everything was just singed, burning. Is it like really bad? <laughs> Yes, bro, we failed it earlier. I couldn't believe it. I actually couldn't believe it earlier, bro. Milk. Mouth on fire, bro. Oh my god, he's ruling that so bad. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. It wasn't us. It wasn't us. Milk. I got you, but it wasn't us. I legit felt so bad. We all felt so bad. And now that I think about it, I actually never got FaZe Tico back, so... Sleep with one eye open, Jacob. And guys, finally, the worst prank that anyone's ever played on me, FaZe Adapt when he stole my room. I'm not gonna play the whole prank for you guys, because it's really long. I'll leave it in the description if you want to watch the whole thing. I'm gonna just kind of explain it to you guys and then show you the reaction. I just came back from a trip to California where I visited my family, and this was right when I first moved into the FaZe house, so I didn't even really know if I was gonna, like, keep living at the FaZe house. I was there for a few months as kind of like a, a trial phase to see if I would work with everybody and if it kind of all worked well together. And I came back, and my room was completely empty. Empty adapt move all of his stuff into my room and put all of my stuff in, in like a different area of the house and he basically acted like that he took over my room and he got everybody on board with it and I was so upset. I thought you said it was okay if I used your room. Dude, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, all, all right, so time up. Time up. Come here. Come. Time the fuck out. Okay, so you're not cool with this, obviously. No, I'm not cool with you this. You want your shit back where it is? Yeah, dude. Alex. What? Do you have anything to say? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Dude, you're so mad. Dude, no, He's no, so... Bro, we have a camera, we have a camera in the camera in that room. Listen. We have a camera in this room. No. The camera's right like, there. Dude, we just got shit. Blaze King was so oh, mad. That was so good. Holy I can't, shit. I can't believe how Holy mad you were. Holy shit, dude. Dude, this kid's that like... That was so fucking dude, good. Dude, 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 this kid's oh like... Oh my god. I just got, I just got off my plane. Yeah. He, like, he looks at me, he looks at me, he's like, fuck off. That's what he says. <laughs> Straight up, guys, I've never been more like but hurt and upset in my entire life. I was literally about to punch Adapt in the face. I told him to, dude, I'm gonna punch you in the face if you don't just shut up right now. I 100% believed it. Everybody played it off really well. Looking back on it, it's funny. It is funny, but I just, I remember that feeling of just, it was so bad. I was so upset. But anyway, guys, that wraps it up for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you guys did, smash that like button. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Always remember to stay slothy, and that's been it. Peace.